At 10 Downing Street, the moving vans have come and gone. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is on his way out. Conservative Party members will choose his successor, former Chancellor Rishi Sunak or current Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, who polls suggest is the overwhelming favourite. Their first challenge, the war in Ukraine. Britain has provided around $2.7 billion worth of military aid to Kiev since Russia's invasion in February, second only to the United States. Johnson is hugely popular in Kiev. So will his departure spell a changing relationship? That's highly unlikely under trust, says Alan Wager, a political analyst at King's College London. She's also committed to increasing UK defence spending to 3% of gross domestic product and continuing the supply of arms to Ukraine. Ukraine may be the least complicated of the challenges facing Britain's next prime minister. Domestic gas and electricity prices are set to soar by 80% in October, compounding the post-COVID economic crisis and raising the prospect of an imminent recession. Families just cannot afford anything close to this. It's a disaster. 10,000 people die every year in the UK directly because of a cold home. That number is going to skyrocket. Truss has ruled out helping people pay their bills and says tax cuts are the answer. What's important is that we get the economy growing. Relations with European neighbours are strained. Asked on the campaign trail if the president of France, a NATO ally, was a friend or foe, Truss gave this answer. The, the jury's out, but if I, if I, if I, if I, if I become, if I become prime minister, I'll judge him on deeds, not words. Truss has pledged to rip up the Northern Ireland Protocol, a key Brexit customs agreement that Boris Johnson signed with the European Union to avoid a hard border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. That could lead, in time, to. A, a trade war with the, between the UK and the EU. The two candidates are appealing to a relatively tiny electorate, fewer than 200,000 Conservative Party members. They have rarely been tested on the campaign trail, says Wager. So the UK is entering into this new crisis, if you like, this new economic crisis coupled with this international crisis in, in, in the Ukraine without its political leaders having confronted the key challenges that the UK faces. Truss, or Sunak, will move into 10 Downing Street next Monday. But it may not be all over for Johnson.